Another day and another publicity stunts by the anti-Israel Islamists, uh, combined with the far left, funded by all the globalists like George Soros and Open Society, they continue to cause mayhem in our country, left, right and center. Early today, we reported that they uh, occupied one of our government departments in Westminster in London, the uh, Department for Business and Trade. Uh, left, right and center, they target Jewish shops we've seen in North London. Uh, they, they target churches, Christian churches. And now supermarkets, we've seen them target, of course, uh, McDonald's and Starbucks because they're Zionists, apparently. And this a video is about a group of them going to into Tesco <laughs> supermarket to protest. Let's go. Free, free, 2C TV. Um, okay. Did you see there was Batman? They had Batman in their group. <laughs> or was it Zora? <laughs> what was that? Um, attention seeking, obviously, right? But when we could laugh when it comes to the isolated incidents. But it's a concern because if there were just one or two, then it would be funny. But it's everywhere, left, right and centre. Intimidation, bullying. And of course, the whole thing is supposed to be coercing people. This is not democratic. This is not really preaching. This is not really trying to convince you to do something or to support them. This is by force. Boycott the supermarket. Boycott Tesco. Because their profit is covered in Palestinian blood. But again, this is also the culture we currently have in our society, where there is no respect for authority, there is no respect for the rule of law. And the fact that, you know, people might say, what's going on? with Where's the Tesco supermarket uh, security? What's going on? It's because there is, the whole thing is going down in terms of our society, the harmony in society. The next video I'm going to show you is actually about, again, Tesco, the same supermarket. People just walk in, they pick products, they literally steal them, and they walk out without pain. We've seen these sort of scenes in Portland and Seattle when the Antifa take over. But this is just happening casually in Britain. They're the home of the justice system, the modern justice system, and the rule of law. Watch this. They just walked out and no one did anything. They film it. They're very good at filming things. Everyone's always ready with their smartphones to film incidents. Where was the security? Where was the manager? Anybody. When, when there's no harmony in society, don't expect the, the groups that don't like us to also take advantage. When are, you know, the, the, the native people and then, you know, they're the suppo supposed to be, well, English Brits also not respecting the authority and basic respect for their fellow countrymen. Well, what do you expect from the enemy? It's complete chaos.